Cause I was about to be like, hey y'all, it's the same type of shit. Oh, ah! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Oh! Ah! It's the same damn thing. Oh! I love that Nintendo Switch. So, uh, what's good? This, of course, is your boy QKG. Y'all already know how much I love that young Nintendo Switch. That Nintendo Switch! Let's go ahead and see if this man, Quan Chi, unfixed this young broken shit. So, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump in this video, boy. So, when you boot up Mortal Kombat 1 on Nintendo Switch, compared to the day one version, um, I would definitely say the textures on all the characters, this used to be this kind of, like, and IGN is notorious for this. It's like the one image that they have where Melina's face is all muddy and the textures are, like, not at all there. Very, very muddy textures that is actually just non-existent now it seems like they took some type of alternative route i can see like some of the areas that like the hourglass was a notorious stage that had really muddy textures they actually fix that stage and it's pretty surprising even though like i can clearly see like there's a, a bigger downgrade in the background like overall it kind of feels like it's like a filter almost over the game uh but it does seem like in some areas where you don't have that kind of you know downgrade really necessary like you'll notice more texture details in certain maps and certain characters there but definitely just know like that muddy really gross melina face look yeah it seems like they kind of iron out that bug so that's a really really big improvement the other thing you're gonna notice is that they made an adjustment to the towers mode and also they improved the loading time shout out to switch played he actually went out and did the research and compared the two to see if mortal kombat 11 and mortal kombat 1 had better switch loading times and come to find out now mortal kombat 1 in fact has faster load times than the current version of mortal kombat 11 on nintendo switch so it seems like now they kind of remove that kind of weird awkward like stuck pose thing that they were doing right between the fight so now when they do get into that pose and they lock up they actually say their line smack each other and then the fight starts so everything flows way better than it did at launch so with that new improvement making the loading times better and actually having that interaction run a whole lot more smooth than it did just makes the experience a whole lot more enjoyable so quick backstory, I was trying to learn Gears yesterday because he was whooping my ass and then this game decided to crash on me. I was like, oink. And then I thought to myself, I was like, wait, is this an actual thing? Is this something in the game that they need to fix? So I went ahead and tried a little experiment. Let's go ahead and see. Yo, dog, I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. Right, right when I thought I had, I was like, yo, this is it. They didn't fix it. It's good. Nah, nigga, something else is wrong. This has happened on three different occasions, and I'm just gonna show you right now. This is live. I'm, I'm talking right now. Button click. Bam, nigga. Y'all, oh my god. Okay, I don't know if it's just the character or if it's just the stage. I'm gonna try it out without gears, but I just noticed that every time I go at the bottom of the pyramid, this shit crash. Cause I was about to be like, hey y'all, it's the same type of shit. Oh. Ah! <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Gotcha! Oh! Ah! It's the same damn thing! Oh! I gotta be real, man. Like, it, it's it's still, like, it's improving, which is good, but it's still, it still needs to be fixed. There's, there's still some shit, bro. So. All in all, man, hopefully um, with the next patch that they come out with, because it seems like they're either having about maybe one to two patches, I would say a month. Usually it's like the character patch and then like a kind of fix-it patch. Hopefully the next one that we get, I don't know if it's going to be the next character or if it's going to be a fix-it patch. Hopefully we get one in between because that's kind of bad. But um, yeah, so overall, uh, if you're still looking to get into the game, uh, I think it's about 40 bucks uh, for like another five days right now. So just be warned, it's it's looking better, but you might run into some shit here and there. Let me know in the comments down below on what you think about Mortal Kombat 1's very shaky development situation on Nintendo Switch. Fingers crossed we get this shit fixed because your boy is out here getting mad. But other than that, man, hopefully you guys take it easy. This is your boy QKG, and peace out.